Chucks. <coughs> Sorry, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna give a real quick explanation. Then I'm gonna play some intro parts. So, chat, let me get some pictures up there. Y'all can understand. Travis Rudolph. This is this guy right here, right? Um, I think he played in the NFL for a shorter period of time. Uh, let's actually go to the Wikipedia. He said that he's born in 95, so he's, he's relatively young. How old is that? If you're born in 95, that means you're 27 now. Wow, he's pretty young. Um, I guess he was a wide receiver. He played for the Giants, Dolphins, and then I guess he just didn't get signed again. Not too sure how much money he made, but... He played, uh, oh, actually, for the uh, uh, for the Giants, here we go. He signed with the Giants as an undrafted free agent, okay? Then he got waived the same year, okay? He was signed to the practice squad. Then he was promoted to active roster for a little bit, but after injuries to, multi oh, after injuries to multiple receivers, he recorded his first NFL reception week seven, and he finished that game with three receptions for 32 yards, okay? He got waived the next year. So he's not the best. And by the way, his career NFL statistics is eight catches for 101 yards. Okay. Honestly, I don't even look up need to look up his salary. It's it's most likely he never made a million dollars. Okay. Now, he then went to the, the Dolphins, but he got signed to the practice squad. By the way, if you don't know, there's 52 people on the active roster, but they need people to play against. And they need these other sets to kind of get them prepared for the games they're going to play. So they have practice uh, um, practice squad people that's at third. Those people usually don't get paid that much, but still a job. You know what I mean? Shit, if you could do your passion and get paid, it is what it is. He was on the practice squad in 2018, but he suffered a torn ACL on the first day of practice. Wow, that sucks. First day of practice, and he was placed on the practice squad injured list. I, I think that means he still gets paid because he got injured at the job, um, and he probably got paid for the whole season. So I think if you get injured on the practice squad, they can't just cut you. Like, you got to get paid for, like, an extended amount of time because you got injured at work, right? Anyway, he then signed with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, which is a Canadian football league team in 2020, but he was released in 2021. Now, the reason why he got released in 2021 is that he got released, and you'll see here, he got released on, on, on April 7, 2021, ironically, when he caught a murder charge, and he caught the murder charge on the same day. Now, he was arrested, in, and this is very important to know, he got arrested in Florida. Okay, so this is my boy right here. This is Travis Rudolph. He was living in Florida, got arrested on murder charge. Now, I got to explain the situation around it. He's dating some girl, and the girl he's dating, just like most nosy girls, goes through his phone. She was living with him. She goes through his phone. Anybody who's lived with a girl... This is the this this is the worst part about living with women. They're all in your shit. She goes through his phone. She sees that this nigga is texting or sexting with other women. She's tight. Um, let me try to bring up. You want to see a picture of his girlfriend? I think it's ex girlfriend now. Let's see if we can find a picture of her. But this is her. She's no fucking looker. Okay, you know what I mean? She, she like she, she got a fucked up weave or wig or whatever this is. This bitch literally looks like, you know, like if she's not Miss Piggy already, she's on her way there. OK, this this is not no this is not no like Miami nine. Like this bitch is literally a four or five. You get what I mean? But, you know, it don't really matter. A chick could be a nine or a ten or it could literally be a four or five women or women and women. I will tell you, know how to use and manipulate the advantage or the double standards that benefit them for whatever outcome. So let me tell you the story. So she goes to this nigga's phone. She sees the motherfuckers texting bitches. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've been in that same situation. Yo, Angelica went through my phone one time. She seen videos of me piping bitches out. This shit was crazy. Remember when she ruined my apartment? That's what happened. Nigga, she went through my phone, nigga. I'm long dicking these bitches. <laughs> nigga, she, I remember she saying, yo, She's like, some of these positions, you don't fuck me. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know, but, but it's different. It's like new pussy. It's like, yo, bro, I just caught one. Like, yo, it's like a new joint. I got to hit it different. I can't have him going back to the screen saying big act is whack. 
So I got the leg up. I'm doing all type of shit, man. I'm going crazy, dog. Come on, take that shit. You know what I mean? So she goes through a season shit wild and out. That's how she fucked up my apartment. Okay, cool. What does this girl do? And by the way, that, that you know, I want to be very fair. I don't, this is like a more, mostly men conversation um, because of our audience here, but I want to be fair to women too. That's traumatic. You live with a guy, you love him, you think he's not cheating or whatever, and you catch him cheating. He send a bunch of texts, right? Imagine you go through your girl's phone, even though, I don't know if y'all be going through your girl's purse or phone or whatever, but imagine you go through your girl's phone, you, like she got a video on there of her sucking a nigga dick, double doing all of that. You'd be fucking tight. So, she basically is like, you know, she's tight, like, uh, like uh, apparently she wants to leave, like she's like, this shit's fucking over. He's trying to like, nah, chill, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is where the he says, she says starts. She apparently, like, falls. She claims he slammed her. Um. Then, she basically hit up her brother. And this is very popular, especially hood shit. You cheat on a girl, or if you hit a girl, she call her brother to come, come deal with it, right? So, this girl, because she's getting cheated on and whatever, she got hit, even though the dude says he didn't hit her, she tripped over his foot, whatever the case is. Make up your own mind. There's testimony going back and forth. She hits up her brother, and this is one thing about women that zero accountability always, um, uh, there's always zero accountability when it comes to this. They don't realize they're risking someone's life when you send your brother to go get your boyfriend or get your ex-boyfriend. You're putting your boyfriend, you're putting your ex-boyfriend's life in danger, but you're putting your brother's life in danger, okay? Every girl just thinks their their brother is like Superman. Like, well, my brother's gonna go beat him up and that's the end of it. Don't really work like that. So she sends a message to her brother and she says, yo, blah, 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 this happened. And she says in a message, which this message came out in court, she says, shoot this nigga's crib up. It's crazy. She literally tells her brother, to go shoot her ex's crib up that she used to live at. By the way, I'm tell you, women are the most interesting species on the world. In, in the world, they'll live with you. They'll live with you one minute, suck your dick the next minute, tell you they love you the the, the third minute and the fourth minute. They'll set you up to get shot. <laughs> like they, it's like like they don't give a fuck. Once a woman's feelings is hurt. They'll do anything. They'll get you murdered. They don't give two fucks. So she sends the message like, yo, yo, shoot this nigga's crib up. Anyway, you can imagine, you know, the brother is on some John Morant shit. Like, you know, when John Morant got that message from his mom to come to the, the, the finish line or whatever, the foot locker. So oh shit, it's time to pull up. Some people actually enjoy riding for their sister or riding for their female relative. So the brother Gets three other niggas and say, yo, we finna ride. They hop in the car. Okay? By the way, also, here's the thing, too. I see y'all keep spamming it. She's mad at him because she found him texting other bitches the whole time she's married. I know. I know. I know. This shit sounds good. The entire time, she is married to another nigga. But she cares about what he got going on. Yes, don't even ask me, okay? So, she, t uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> this is crazy as hell. So she basically tells, and, and you, know, you, you know how females are, right? Like, if you ever, and I'm gonna play some of her testimony. Her thing is, because they asked her, they said, why didn't you tell him you were married? You know what she says? He never asked. <laughs> You hear, your women have zero accountability. They ask her, why didn't you tell your boyfriend you were married? Well, he never asked. What am I telling him that for? Okay. So let's get back to it. She tells the four dudes to pull up to the crib, even though she says in messages, shoot the crib up. Now, you're going to hear it later. She says in testimony, she's like, nah, I wanted them to just beat him up, not shoot the crib up. Obviously, you can imagine she know her brother's coming over. She probably talking shit to the dude. Ah, I saw my brother gonna come over here, beat your ass. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, he coming with his gangster friends. Yeah, they gonna shoot your pussy ass. You think you can cheat on me and then push me and then trip me or whatever. Okay, whatever. Now, apparently, 
the guy who she's like mad at, he has his brother there as well. So four dudes show up to the crib. They're banging on the door. Bap, 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 bap. The brother answers the door. Them dudes is irate. They're already, they already teed up. You know what I mean? They probably was smoking some Zaza on the way. Like, them niggas maybe off a of perk of bean. They just start giving that nigga the beats. Reese 300. They're giving him the beats. The guy who they really came for realizing all this has happened went to get his handy dandy AR-15. Four Negroes showing up to your crib with hoodies on, knocking on your door like they're the feds. I, what would you have done? Anyway, now they're giving your brother the beats. So basically what happened, long story short, my man's right here. He take the AR-15 out and he start dumping. Boom, boom, boom. Shoots 32 times. He claps one of the niggas, shoots another one. But here's the problem, because we know this is Florida, and usually we would have to talk about this. He starts chasing them off of his property and still shooting. So they basically start running, and he's still chasing. But again, you're still here at a moment. So this is the entire situation now. One guy is dead. One guy got shot. The other two was on scathe. Apparently, this was the vehicle. That nigga was dumping. Boop, 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 boop. Everything. He was giving them niggas. Yo, you come to a nigga's house. You got your hoodie on, knocking on his door like you the feds. Nigga, what you think the AR-15 there for? Okay. Now, I set that up for y'all that we could listen to this young woman who caused all of this. Her brothers was probably playing 2K with the gang. When she told him, come over here and come shoot this nigga's crib up. By the way, the guy, he, he did eventually get arrested. He says, the reason why I kept shooting that for 32 shots I shot till I felt my life wasn't in danger no more, nor my brother who was getting beat up. And he also said, because some people were saying, why did you start shooting if, how'd you know your life was in danger? At that point, they found out later, she did text the guys to come shoot the crib up, but he didn't know that at the time. So, And, and self-defense is what you know at the time. He said he saw two niggas in the back of this car with like guns. So he said he saw a gun. Right, which smart. You know, you gotta make up a gun that you see. By the way, they found them with two guns too. So now they're in court. So they got the girlfriend on the stand, and y'all gotta watch this. If yo fellas, if y'all don't know nothing about women, just watch this, and this will tell you all you fucking need to know. How this woman acted on the stand basically tells you why, as a man, especially a black man in the United States of America, you have to be so careful because women, they could do whatever the fuck they want. And even after somebody dies, they will feel zero fucking remorse. This is her. I'm going to get into it a little bit. The sex, every other thing that was interested in destroying his property, right? No. Yesterday, you told the jury I was saying stuff, but Travis started, right? Right. And isn't it a fact that you are the one that actually started this whole thing by sneaking and looking into his phone? I didn't sneak and look through the phone if I have the password. Chat, you hear how these hoes think, bro? But he didn't tell you you could look at his phone, did he? But if someone gives you something and tells you you are allowed to look at it, I don't believe that it's called sneaking. Isn't it 
true that you were the first person to become physically violent when Travis with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all? When we were in the house, he was already nudging me to get out. You were the one that was first physically, uh, physically violent, were you not? Um, if you can play something or show me something, if you, I can't recall the exact steps of the moments. They're going to play, I think, uh, let me see. Just, Correct. And you testified that he was disrespectful yesterday. That's the moral of the story. Is that correct? Correct. Isn't the moral of the story is that you sent your brother and his friends to go kill Travis? No, the moral of the story is him putting his hands on me. That is really the basis of everything. And, and I didn't send my brothers to kill him. You just sent a text to go shoot up his shit, right? I, I didn't say shoot him. You, you hear how these bitches think? Yeah, I told him go shoot up the shit. I ain't say shoot him. Bitch, he's inside the house. You said go shoot up the house. He's inside the house. Well, I ain't say to shoot him. Just shoot the house. Yo, I'm telling you. This, I'm t like, I kid you not. We got to be scared of women, bro. I'm t Yo, women are like a coddled species. They could do anything. There's one nigga dead. One nigga who got a fucking, he got shot with an AR-15. And another nigga who's in court fighting for his life. She got an attitude the whole time on the stand. Hey, did he give me permission? Well, he gave me the password. Why would he give me the password? He'll... Well, you sent your brothers to go shoot him. I ain't tell him to shoot him. I told him to shoot up the house. This is the type of women. This is the reason why that passport bro shit exists. These bitches in the United States of America, that's how this, that's how they look. Right there. Right there. Not, listen, they don't bill him like your mama no more. They don't bill him like your auntie and your grandma. These are some ratchet hood rats we deal with now. I guarantee you go on this bitch's phone. You want to act back, double act, act that. That's what they're listening to. These bitches got to be tranquilized. I kid you not. I'm telling you, this bitch, all she do is lie, don't pay her phone bill, could eat hot Cheetos, and watch Carisha now. These fucking hoes, man. Listen to this bitch, bruh. Fucking scallywags. Who sent a text to go shoot up his shit, right? Correct. Let's tell the jury what the shit is. When you're angry, you say things. I'm sure everyone in this courtroom has said something when you're i'm trying chad have you ever sent a text to say yo go shoot that nigga <laughs> have you ever sent a text to say go shoot that nigga or even go shoot that chick you think a black man could say that on the stand and you're not charged too that's conspiracy nigga I'm trying to speak if you want me to answer your question you have to let me answer your question well Yo, look how she's talking to the lawyer. Look how she's talking to the lawyer. If you were responsive to my question, I wouldn't have to. All right. Answer the question, please. Okay. Can you repeat your question? The question was shit. What does shit mean in the context of that text? Anything but him. Oh, my God. Oh, Yo, she says in the message, go shoot up his shit. Obviously, you derive the mean to be shoot up his crib because he's at the crib. She's now on the stand saying, yeah, I told him to shoot it up, but I told him his shit, which means anything but him. Okay. So it could have been his brother? No. It could have been the house? Nothing violent toward a person. Go shoot up his shit. Get on the stand? I ain't tell that nigga to do nothing violent. Yo, I'm telling you, bruh. I'm telling you. Yo, chat. Like, listen, I'm not the biggest fan of this little passport bros movement shit going on. But where could we go to find some women who ain't like these? 
Bro, look at the choices we have for mothers and wives. Where can we find some decent human beings that have accountability? That don't think because they're a woman they can say anything, do anything, and even if they have to go to court, they got an attitude in court. It could have been his mother's house, right? I was upset and I, my adrenaline was running and I said something that I didn't mean. That's the bottom line of that. I didn't mean for him to do, for my brothers to do any of that. That's why when my brother left the house, he did not have a firearm on him. So you're not answering my question again. Okay. okay you told the jury that shit meant anything other than a person, right? That's what you just told them. You remember that? Okay. Can I clarify the jury? Finish my question. Okay. Didn't you just tell the jury that shit meant anything other than a person, yes or no? I would like to clarify that. Well, answer yes or no, and then you can clarify. Did you not just tell them that? I did tell them that, but I want to clarify what I mean. Okay. When I said that, I was upset. I was angry, and I said something that I didn't mean. My adrenaline was running. I'm, am I, I am clarifying my answer. Am I not? Go ahead, finish. So I was upset and, uh, and I ended up saying something that I didn't mean. Like people say things when they're upset that they don't mean all the time. But since the situation has happened, it obviously blew up 20 times more. But I didn't necessarily mean for anything to happen to Travis, his family, his house or anything. It's like my, it was like my second home. I would not want anything. To hey, remember I told y'all that story about what happened with the Quentin Miller shit? This is facts, by the way. They they see Quentin Miller going into the the Nike store, Nikki, um, Nikki and and, and and Meek they're in the car. They had some other niggas too with them. They go to confront him. They wanted him to say on camera, "Yo, yeah, I lied in that letter I wrote. Um, I did write for Drake, blah 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 blah." And they wanted to that to be on record. Quentin Miller said no. So I ain't doing that, bro. I don't got no beef with y'all. I ain't doing that. They go back to the car, and Nikki looks at him and says, wait, y'all just let that nigga off? Yo, y'all niggas is pussy. This is what I'm telling you about women. Imagine if they had went back in the store, which they did go back in the store. They said, bro, you gotta, yo, you have to record this shit, nigga. He didn't do it, so they just punched him in the mouth. Imagine when that happens, Quentin Miller got a gun, and Quentin Miller shoots them two niggas. You think Nikki would, would be there and be like, oh, shit, this is my fault. You know what she would have been like? I ain't tell him to, like, punch him in the mouth. <laughs> you think, yo, women got no accountability. No fucking accountability. You told him to go do some shit. That shit could turn into anything. Niggas get shot over the least amount of shit. You told him to pull up. You told him to shoot shit up. One of them niggas is now with a blunt. Because of your stupid ass. And you're saying, I ain't saying, I ain't tell him to do that. What the fuck? This is the problem with women, bruh. Women, you got to treat like kids. You got to treat them like they're babies. What happened there? All right. So, again, when you just told the jury that when you sent the text to go shoot up his shit, to, to shoot meant anything other than a person. I just clarified my answer to the jury. I'm asking, isn't that what you just told them? Sustain. Sustain. <laughs> Next question. Please. Isn't it true that when you left his house, this shit crazy. that he didn't slam you to the ground, well, he didn't lift you up off your feet and slam you to the ground, that you actually tripped and fell? I didn't trip and fall. Isn't it true that Travis put his foot out and you tripped over his foot and you fell? No, that's not true. So you're telling this jury that the video that we saw from the ring camera shows him picking you up off your feet and <coughs> slamming you to the ground. You can barely see it because Daryl's in the way. Okay, so it's the video doesn't. The video that the video that we seen yesterday. Let me pause it real quick. I think this is one of the videos here. By the way, the majority of this is all caught on, on video camera. Here we go. Look, she's swinging after the nigga first.
This is what she texts at. Please go shoot his shit up. Look what another nigga says. In a group. In a, bro, this, this is in court. This is, this is text messages. Travis is a dead man walking. <laughs> yo, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know why this is a trial. Leave, let this nigga out. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. And I, and, and I know y'all haven't consumed the whole case yet, but I'm going to give y'all my early synopsis on this. The only thing I think that nigga Travis Rudolph did wrong is that there wasn't five body bags instead of one. That nigga should have, I ain't going to lie, everybody should have got clapped. Maybe even the chick. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. It should have been five body bags, not one. That's the only thing he did wrong. That's the only thing he did wrong. I, let that nigga out. Let that nigga out, man. That's a, listen, four niggas come to your crib. The bitch is texting them, shoot this shit up. Everybody should, it should be killed. Should be five body bags. Group funeral. I would have set up a GoFundMe for him. That's the only thing he did wrong, man. But he tried. Isn't it true that you were the first person to become physically violent when Travis with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all? Something or show me something if you, I can't recall the exact steps of the moments. Question. Okay, so you were the first one to become physically violent with Travis, not the other way around. Answer, correct. Yes, is it correct? You remember that? Yes. So you smashed his iPhone, not out of anger, but because you were hurt? Yes. Okay. And I didn't send my brothers to kill him. No, you just sent a text to go shoot up his shit, right? I, I didn't say shoot him. You said... She said she ain't, she ain't the first one to be physical. Look at her. Wilded. Text to go shoot up his shit, right? Correct. What's, tell the jury what the shit is. <laughs> when you're angry, you say things. I'm sure everyone in this courtroom has said something when you're... I'm trying to speak. If you want me to answer your question, you have to let me answer your question. Well, if you were responsive to my question, I wouldn't have... To All right. Answer. answer the question, please. Okay. Can you repeat your question? The question was shit. What does shit mean in the context of that text? Anything but him. Oh, my God. Okay. So, it... I but it. since the situation has happened, it obviously blew up 20 times more. But I didn't necessarily mean for anything to happen to Travis, his family, his house, or anything. Typical bitches. Not only am I, did I lie that he was beating my ass, not only did I tell that to my brothers to gaslight them that they could be more mad, not only did I also instruct them to go shoot his shit up, so they're over here calling their homies up who they know got guns to all get in the car to ride to his house. I didn't think nothing was going to happen. I just thought that shit was going to be cool. Like, only women can say that shit. Only women, bro. It's like my, it was like my second home. I would not want anything to happen there. All right. And he never... raised a hand and touched you did he not yeah he was raising his hand the whole time like grabbing me pushing me back yeah the whole time okay, so he was did he punch you no he didn't punch me did he slap you no he didn't slap me did he pick up any objects and hit you over the head with them no so uh, why do you want to smash his car window i like i said it wasn't intentional i was just throwing things because i was upset and you, when you were throwing things, you were also screaming things at him, like you were going to send your brother Keyshawn over to kill him, right? Never, ever, ever said the word kill at all. Okay, so... Four men showed up at his front door. I ain't going to lie. It should have been four packs. One, two, three, four. And you told both of them that Travis... Right. ...picked you up and slammed you to the ground, right? Yes. And that he had disrespected you. Yes. And you also sent a text message to Keyshawn um, at roughly 945 that Travis dropped you to the ground. Do you remember that? Yep. And in response to that text message,
Keyshawn sent a group text message to you and Tyler Robinson that Travis is a dead man walking. Is that correct? Yes. And that's the message that you deleted from your phone, right? No, I deleted the shoot his shit up message. And you also deleted the dead man walking message. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember if I did or not. So you really weren't making a living as a real estate agent, right? Um, no, but I do have a mom and she's a medical assistant, so. Okay. And you were living with your mom. Correct. Right? You had a conversation with a man about marriage and you're still married to Andre Chis picked you up and slammed you to Wait, what? Bang, is that correct? Correct. She's still married to another nigga, bro. So you lied to Travis. You misled him, did you not? Travis never asked me if I was married. Chat, I swear you can't make this up. 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 I swear you can't make this up, chat. Yo, he never asked me if I was married. Yo, boom, tap it with me on, on Discord. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I gotta talk to y'all about this case. I don't know if y'all been following it. Boom, hop in the chat, hop in the chat. By the way, hey, I need everybody. Yo, we need 500 more people on, on my Discord for us to get to 20,000 20, people on Discord. I need everybody to join up Discord. Everybody spam the link, man. Please, uh, discord.gg slash academics. If you have never joined Discord before, it's a worthy place to be, especially if you sub or you're a member or or anything of the sort. Uh, make sure guys get on Discord, man. This shit, I'm going to be honest with you. This case... Like, I was watching it today, and I was kind of um, following it, bro. It, it it infuriated me because as much as... And by the way, we're used to this type of snobby behavior by white people. Because we know a black man couldn't go onto a stand and act like this. But a black woman is doing it. Yo, boom. Did, I, have you I, peeped the shit? Do, I watched this whole shit on stream yesterday, bro, and... It gets worse. You didn't even play the rest of the video. It gets worse. Which just video? Her, just, this video you're watching right now. You paused it when she said, what'd she say? I didn't, she said I was married, but I didn't need to tell him, right? Oh, yeah. They, those are clips. I would have to fight on, on the long No, floor. no. It's this, it's this, it's this video. Oh, okay, you, okay. If it's, All right, like, hold on, hold on. Three to 10 seconds after. Here we go, here we go. Is that correct? Correct. So you lied to Travis. You misled him, did you not? Travis never asked me if I was married. Bang, is that correct? Correct. Now, that's the last part they have on at least on this clip. No, oh. that's the last part. Oh, no, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find this main shit. This shit's crazy. Dead man no, walking. I, I, I Do you remember ever telling him that? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna find it. Search and keep it open. Here we go. You left and went home and told your brother, uh, "You got to go see about me to Travis." Do you remember telling Detective Ema that? Mm, kind of a blur, but I did say to go. Daryl, because he said his dreadhead friend is dead. You've got to find a part. Bro. Remember looking at that yesterday? day after you signed that and you sent your friend, uh, Hold on. If I can't oh. see any evidence in front of me, give it to you. this ha right. I got it. Let me send it to you. Or post it to a page. I want to talk a little bit about some of the things you He used to say things like that all the time. I'm not happening. Okay. And you said your profession is a realtor. realtor. Yeah, I'm a realtor. Yo, she called this nigga broke too. I was watch I was listening to it this morning in the car. Nigga, I almost pulled over, nigga. <laughs> bro, I, I, I lost my mind when I saw this shit. I was so mad last night, bro. Like this shit pissed me off. Chat, I, I don't want to bore y'all with it. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it's like it's interesting, but like I don't want to drag out 20, 30 minutes of her, like, whatever, no, whatever. No, I got I got the bro. I just DM'd you. This that clip, it's more conscious than that one clip you said you because you gotta hear what she say after when she was like, Oh, you married and shit. You gotta hear what she say after, bro. You gotta hear it's more than just, oh, I didn't tell him I was married. She say some even crazier shit right after it, bro. No way. Bro. Wait, wait, I'm not wait, gonna spoil wait, wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Where's you sending? Where's you sending? Oh, on Discord, on Discord. Send it to me on the gram. Uh, bro. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That woman needs you to be under the jail. Yeah, yo, but she's on the stand just, like, chilling, like, she didn't give a fuck because, obviously, she's not facing no criminal charges. Yet. 
I mean, she can't. And, and by the way, what? I'm gonna be honest with you. They would kill the state of Florida for charging her with anything. Why? Like, yo, women are allowed to cause chaos and nothing happens. It's like a woman falsely accusing a dude of something. She doesn't go to jail unless she lies under oath. Like, she's admitting to her lies now, so she's not lying under oath. But her causing a situation to happen, there's no legal ramifications. So she could literally just cause hell because yo, know, if she gets charged, you know what people are going to say? Yo, you're making domestic violence victims not want to, you know, get help because they might feel like they, if something happens, they they're at threat of prosecution. You get what I mean? So they're not gonna charge her. Zero chance. Hey, 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 she literally text said, "Go shoot up the person house," and he's a dead man walking. Bro, that's gaslighting. Bro, no, no, I, I, she's a woman. Bro, she's, she's a woman. Domestic, yeah, but actually, it's still, still damn a conspiracy to for a murder, even if it was your man's. You set it up, nigga. Niggas. I know what you're saying. I know how they work, bro. But like, bro, bro it's, it's, like, let me say, she getting charged, bro, for sure. Because she set it up, and then she unsent the messages, bro. Like this, this case is wild. I was going through it yesterday. Like she unsent the messages. Oh, right, here we go. I'm gonna try to play. Person to become physically violent when traveling. Well, I guess it's the second one, right? No, no, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Person to become good. physically violent when Travis with Travis and not the other way around? No. Not at all? Something or show me something if you, I can't recall the exact steps of the moments. Question. Okay, so you were the first one to become physically violent with Travis, not the other way around. Answer is correct. Yes, is it correct? You remember that? Yes. So you smashed his iPhone not out of anger but because you were hurt. Oh, oh, yes. Hey, hey, my bad, my bad. And I didn't send my brother. This ain't it. I can, can you hear me? Is you see the thread, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You see the one that's like right under the the Steve Harvey one. Okay, it's that okay. one. Okay, okay, baby, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is off. Is that what you're telling me? Me No, we had a conversation about that. Yes, we did. Okay. And you you had a conversation with a man about marriage, and you're still married to Andre Chisang, is that correct? Correct. So you lied to Travis. You misled him, did you not? Travis never asked me if I was married. So you have to be asked a question in order to get an answer, or to be told the truth? Is that what you're telling this jury? I'm just telling the jury that the conversation about me being married never came up, so I never spoke on it because I felt like it was not my personal business to speak on. So what you're telling this jury is that unless somebody asks you a question, a specific question, you don't have to tell them the correct or honest answer. That's what you just told them. I'm not telling you guys that. I'm telling you guys that in relationships, you have a past. It might not be clean. It might not be the best past that you have. But I decided to leave the past of my relationship behind me. When I started dating Travis, I felt like I didn't... This is how these bitches be fucking 50 niggas in their old hometown getting 20 trains ran on them talking about the past is the past. Bro, uh, she's presently married to a nigga, bro, <laughs> talking about the past. Yo, yo, here's the, here's the craziest part about it. She's presently married to another nigga, but mad that her current nigga is texting some other bitch. Like, come on. Just think about this shit. Yo, free that man, bro. I'm sorry. Free that man, bro. That man got to get freed, man. That that man gotta get freed, bro. Man, we need to find the husband and see what he think. Nigga, he probably happy that he, he didn't have to shoot a nigga. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> if she walling out this much on the boyfriend, imagine what she did to the husband. Oh, did, bro, I, bro, I, I got too many good clips, bro. I got too many. No, no, hold on, let me finish playing this and, and then send me the next one. Need to disclose that because it had nothing to do with what me and Travis had going on. So you were talking about marriage and you're married. You never told him, right? Isn't it true you never told him? I never. No, he answer. Next question. Please. You said that it yesterday. You told the jury that your relationship with Travis wasn't an open relationship. You remember that? Correct. Okay. So the the implication or the understanding was that this was a relationship that was exclusive between the two of you? Correct. Okay. And Oh shit, why did they cut there? I could tell the next question they were gonna ask. 
If y'all in an exclusive oh, the, relationship, bitch, you married. Yeah, you're married. <laughs> How does that like, work? <laughs> nah, the judge, the lawyer was grilling her so bad, bro. Like, now I was, now I was watching this shit, but I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like, bro, she had an attitude the whole time. Did you, did you see the one where she was like, "Oh, you just chatting, you just chatting, she just chatting right now." You ain't never see that one, bro. I, bro, she, yo, she was mad mouthy, like she was just like bro. literally. Yo, like, this is you, crazy. I don't think they understand. I'm gonna like, be honest though. I'm gonna be honest. Like, her testimony, even though... So let me tell you how this is played out, chat. So essentially, so uh, uh, the shooting happened, right? She obviously, you know, bro, a life is taken. The dude ain't gonna rock with her no more because, like, the dude's thinking, yo, you brought your nigga, your brother over here to fucking kill me. That's why I had to shoot my gun. So they're not together no more. But so she's backing up the victim. So she's testifying for the... the, the, the um. Um, well, the the, uh, the, the the prosecutor. Yeah, you know, she's testifying for the prosecutor. Oh yeah, for the prosecutor. Yeah, yeah, she's testifying for the prosecutor, and her testifying for the prosecutor. She's hoping he goes to jail, or the prosecutor is hoping he goes. Like she says weird shit at times. Like, oh, I still got love for him, but you're literally on the stand saying, "Oh, this wasn't self defense. He was beating my ass, and honestly." Those guys that he killed, he didn't know they had a gun. So she wants a nigga to go to jail. So I don't know. It's, it's just crazy. She's so fucking stupid, bro. Every time I look at her, I get so mad. <laughs> Yo, here's the thing, though. I think her testimony helped the guy, though. Bro, it helps her so much. I'm gonna be honest with you. You gotta be a sick. You got or you gotta be a super feminist or something like that, right? Like like a super feminist on the stand where it's like. Yeah, who the fuck cares what she did? Let's just fi let's just focus on what 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 why he pulled out the gun. But everything has to do with how she set the situation up, right? She basically started a physical altercation with him because yes, he was cheating. But here's another thing to a woman, and this is something I'm speaking of personal experience with. Women think if they catch you cheating, it's license for them to. Burn your house down, get you shot, get you killed. Yo, yo, women are another, another like demonic species. Well, at least these current women, like my mom is not clearly, but like these new women, they find that you were texting a bitch, they want to kill you and the bitch. And when they get asked by the police, you know they're gonna tell them, yeah, he hurt my feelings, he cheated on me. It's crazy. But yeah. that's what she said. I don't know if you saw it. No, no, no like, oh, I know she literally said that. Do you, hey, do you act, think, it's called it's called mental illness. That's wait, what it's wait. Called. Act, do you think the jury like that's what I'm saying? She might think she's slotted because like she thinks. Yo, she's retro, order, but retro. You say guys do it too. Which guy could even show up to court and say, "Oh, my feelings was hurt. That's why. That, that's why I killed a nigga." Man, they gonna laugh at that nigga. <laughs> bro. Act, it's called mental, bro. It's called mental illness, bro. And they get away with that shit. She Yo, like, I see why like, this whole fucking trial is going viral. You, you have another clip? Yeah, I sent you two on your DM. <sighs> sent you two on your DM. But she don't know the jury is looking at her like, bro, you look so stupid right now. Like, that's you're not making this shit look good. That's why I think she helped the nigga. Obviously, yeah. she's not trying to help him, but she ends up helping him because, yo, you sound so fucking stupid. It's like, <laughs> like <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, bro. Like. Oh man, I'm trying to calm down. That's just oh, crazy, oh, man. TikTok got all this shit, huh? Yeah, bro, everything. Let's check this one out. Here we go. You're telling Detective Ema um, that without being asked, there's a question. My brother is uh, licensed to carry. Do you remember that? Um, I probably did tell him that. Right. So you were, that you know, that was an important fact to tell him, right? Just for the simple fact that I found out there was a shooting, yes, I believed I needed to leave. Why would that be important if your brother didn't have a gun? Why did you want Detective Ema to know that Keyshawn had a concealed weapons permit? I wanted him to know because there was a shooting. Right, because your brother took his gun with him. No. That's why you where, show me where my brother took his gun with him. Show it to me. But you're telling me something that I'm, you're asking me a question, I'm letting you know my answer. So if you don't have proof right in front of my face, then you can't sit here and tell me anything. I'm telling you. Okay, enough. Next question. Exactly. Next question. Stop. Your next question, please. Like the, 
Is this how you talk to Travis? Stop. This is how I'm talking oh, to you. Next question. Oh, shit. She cooking, bro. I swear to God, it's Lori cooking. You're not just trying to distance yourself, right? From distance myself from what? Right. Well, you didn't want anyone to know that you were communicating with them because you didn't want to get in trouble. Get you in trouble want... for what? Well, you could have been in trouble for setting this whole thing up and setting this in motion. Weren't you concerned? Setting what up? Your client shot 84 rounds. There was no shots back. Oh, it was 84? I thought it was 32. No, it was 39. It was 39. 39? It was 39. But that boy had like a... Uh, like a uh, he had a 15. He had that 15 on him, huh? Nah, nah, nah. He must have... Nah, he, he, he ain't switched the clips out. I ain't think he switched the clips out, though. Uh, he had a 15. He had a drum? Maybe he had a drum. Maybe he had a drum. Maybe. No, he's an NFL nigga, bro. You know you got them sticks on him. What did I set up? Rounds, oh, you bro. sent some. <laughs> She's so fucking stupid. Crazy. <laughs> but he to go shoot him, didn't you? Did he get shot? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you're not pissed off, bro. Just yo, turn, bro. No, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is just a reminder of every woman. Like, like, I don't want to see. I won't name names because y'all, because I know sometimes y'all, y'all personalize. Y'all start hating people. I remember somebody did some shit, and they told me the same thing. Oh, I can say it. Well, the Angelica shit is old. Angelica told me the same shit. Where I'm like, yo, motherfucker, you caused like fifteen thousand dollars worth of damage. Remember, Angelica broke all the shit in my apartment because one day, I'm playing two K. Right, I'm playing two K. I had two apartments. She was at one. I'm playing two K. She calls my phone. And I answer, nigga, it's like a hated game. I was playing for money. And th this is why I always said, like, fuck Selena in a, in a sense for, like, her, like, kind of, like, playing. Women have, women beef with other women. As a guy, you're just casualty. Selena saw, no, no, I mean, Angelica saw Selena post some old picture of me and her on FaceTime. Old as fuck. I don't know when she ever screenshotted me and her on FaceTime. But she posted it. So Angelica is calling me like, oh, let me call my guy, right? I'm in a 2K game. Nigga, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't even know that Selena posted that. I'm also not seeing my phone. Bro, by the end of, like, the game, bro, she fucked up everything in my apartment. $15,000 worth of damage. Nigga, when I finally, I, I remember because she was trying to clean it. She was like, yo, hey, don't come back to the apartment for two days. I'm like, why not? <laughs> She was trying to clean it, nigga. Like, she had ketchup stains. She was writing my name on the wall. I'm like, what the fuck? So anyway, I go back. And I'm like, what the fuck? Anyway, I ask, I'm like, Yo, why the fuck would you do this? This is how a, a, a woman's brain works. You know what she says? She's crying. You know, anytime women fuck up, they do what children do. Cry. <laughs> my feelings was hurt. I thought you were with her. I thought you were you ignoring me for her. Wait, that's it. So just that one thought, you fucked up all my shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's how women work, bro. I'm telling you, that's how women work, bro. I'm telling you, that's how women, women work. Are evil, bro. It's just that simple for women. You know why? They have z. There is no thought that you you fuck up another nigga shit, nigga. You're going to jail. <laughs> they don't you fuck up another sh go, nigga shit, you need to get a job and pay for it. You know what they're saying? I'm so sorry if my feelings was hurt. I thought you would ignore me for her. Oh my God. Bitches. Here we go. You sent somebody to shoot him, did you not? Did he get shot? All right, Ms. Jones, you had to answer the questions, not ask them. All right, next question. Relevance to the case right now. It happened to be in the same uh, days where you're looking up defense attorney Mark Shiner net worth and then you're looking for a free lawyer and arguing next question please sustain tie track I agree with you it is our our fault as men because somehow because we treat women like kids we always we don't let them face the ramification of the fucked up shit they do you te you've testified repeatedly that Keyshawn did not have his gun that night, right? Yes. And you've tested re testified repeatedly that oh, Travis was the one that had the gun, and he's the one that shot Sebastian and Tyler, right? I didn't testify that. I saw it. You saw what? 
Travis, what? I saw Keyshawn have his gun. You said Keyshawn did not have his gun, right? Correct. Okay. So isn't it true that your research regarding self-defense um, would have nothing to do with Keyshawn's conduct since he didn't have a gun? The only Correct. one that had a gun, according to you at that time, was Mr. Rudolph. Are you asking me a question? Yeah, that's the question. What's the question? Isn't it true that the reason you researched self-defense had nothing to do with your brother having a gun because you've testified repeatedly he didn't have a gun, right? Correct. He did not have a gun. And according to you, it was my client who had the gun and shot, right? Correct. And self-defense involves the use of a gun and you're defending yourself. Seriously. She's Feel free to stand up and stretch, folks. Can I take a break, actually. In a few. House is finished. Okay. Go ahead, Ms. Perlet. You looked up self-defense because after speaking with everybody, you believed that somebody was Objection acting in self-defense, right? Last time on that one. Weren't look you? at her face. No. Then why did you look up self-defense? Because I have an iPhone and I can look up anything I want to. Oh, shit. Oh, nah. <laughs> On direct examination today with Miss Edwards. That's crazy. Bro. Bro. Yo, Shawty talking like that, but definitely read on a third grade reading level. Yo, Ag, you know how fucking stupid she is, bro? Do you Yo, know that bitch reads on a third grade reading level, boom. You know do that. You, do you know how stupid that sounds, bro? <laughs> bro. Bro, I like the jury is looking and, at her like, bro, this motherfucker. And she crazy. lied about being a relative bitch couldn't pass the test. Yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Hold on, hold on. Let me hear this other one. Is <laughs> everyone's confused? Here we go. Okay, well let's try to unconfuse you. Start, yeah, let's start over. You guys, hold on. All right, go ahead. Remember, ta you remember telling the jury yesterday when 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 the state was asking you questions about DJ's text, mm -hmm. you guys mm -hmm. texting back and forth. Okay, that's what you're talking about. Yes. And then you told this jury that the first time you heard about all of this and that there were more people that went there besides Keyshawn was when you were talking and communicating with DJ. But, I, but prior to this, you have to remember me, Keyshawn, and Tyler were in a group chat. Remember, you said that out of your own mouth. You also just testified that there was a FaceTime. You told Detective Ema details about your brothers going there. Don't you remember you just testified about that? He's chronologically way out of order. All right. She's just like chatting right now. Start what? Over again. Bro, what? She's just chatting right now. Just chatting. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, oh, no. Nah. Hey, hey, that's that third grade reading level. I'm telling bro, you. Bro, just chatting in court is crazy work, bro. That's all I'm going to say, bro. Hey, hey, do you believe that bitch got her realtor license talking like that? Bro, bro, I don't know how hard is the test. Like, is there is there a no, verbal no, test? Uh, apparently, apparently, she's she's not like she don't make no money. She lives with her mom, so she don't she's not like a realtor. She's not making bread. She lives with her mom. She says it. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm surprised this is the case. The moment somebody in that group text says, "Yo, that nigga's a dead man walking," and also shoot his shit up, it's over. I it's I, I think it's like, alright, y'all go home. Y'all go home. You know what I mean? Y'all go put some flowers by the gravesite. And y'all should learn that y'all should stop sliding on niggas with AR-15s. And yeah, that's the end of the fucking case. What are we talking about? Y'all should be lucky y'all not in the body bag with that nigga. Like, what's the problem? Bro. Also, she unsent the messages too. So That's guilt. She unsent them. before When she got subpoenaed, she unsent them. Yo, she say, yo, this bitch just chatting right now. Yo, this is crazy. Bro. Yo, chat. Again, um... I know this is not really hip hop related, but it is pop culture related because obviously the guy. So here's the thing, too. So here are the real ramifications, right? This guy's life is in shambles, right? Hopefully he beats the case, but his life is in shambles. Remember, he wasn't that good in, in the NFL level. He got hurt when he was on, on, the, on the last practice squad team for the Dolphins. Then he actually gets a break and he, he could play. Remember, he's like he's 27 right now. He, he was trying to get an opportunity to play in the Canadian Football League. Now that opportunity's done. Like his life is in shambles. I was listening to this thing earlier where they were asking her, like, yo, like was money part of the reason why like you were with them? And and she was trying to downplay it, but like I'm gonna be honest with you, she's a fucking liar, bro. Like you could tell, like, 
She was with the nigga for the cash. I'm going to be honest with you. This is my takeaway. She probably got frustrated that he wasn't making as much cash as she, she thought he would have. And to add insult to injury in her situation, she probably looking at it like, yo, nigga, you're not even paying the bills. And you cheating on me, even though I have a fucking husband. I'm going to break your iPhone. I'm going to start beating on you. And as soon as you touch me, I'm going to hit my brothers up and tell them that you hit me and tell them to come shoot you. And then forget to tell them that, oh, yeah, you have a gun, too. When you pull your gun and you shoot one of them and kill them, I'm now going to testify against you and claim that, oh, these guys were coming to just talk to you. It's worse too, act like if if you it's another video where like she she interviews the uh, the lawyer is uh, cross examining the brother, and she's like, did your did your sister tell you that she called the mom and threatened to shoot her shit up? Did she tell you that she called the sister to shoot her shit up? Did she tell you all this shit? And he was like, nah. He was like, would you have still slid if she told you this? He was like, I don't know, maybe. I was like, bro, I was like, bro, I, I couldn't do this anymore. But that shit just, I had a I had a migraine right at the end of this shit, bro. Yeah, I, I think the brother is which one's the brother. He's hella, bro. He's like a saucy Santana nigga, bro. <laughs> like, you wouldn't believe this shit. Bro, you wouldn't believe this shit. Bro. Wait, this thing right here? Let me see. It's probably him, bro. <laughs> nah, him. nah, that eyebrow right here look wild. <laughs> nah, this ain't him. No way. Bro, that's the brother, bro. No way. God. That's the brother. No way. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> this is the bro? Oh, hell nah. <laughs> I ain't gay no more. No way. This nigga's no. That's not him. That's not him. That's not him. Oh, this gotta be who? Who the fuck is this? Another nigga in the car. That's another nigga. He got a turtleneck, bro. That nigga looks so, so flamboyant, bro. Okay, okay. It gotta be on day three then. Day three. Hold on, I gotta figure this shit. He got a turtleneck and a chain on. Hold on. No hairline. No way. Ten. (laughs) Ten minutes. No more. Nah, this shit is ridiculous, bro. You say he got a turtleneck. In a chain on, bro. TikTok. Maybe it was bro. this. Important to know. Jersey. This is not him, right? What about this nigga? He got a chain on and a turtleneck. You, you won't miss him. Wait, he got you a chain. You hear his voice and know it's him. He he wore a chain. A chain, bro. That shit like a four pf chain. <laughs> you lying, nigga. All right, you lying. <laughs> now you cast it out, nigga. God, I swear to God. Oh, bro, I just see him. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you doing this? All right, five zero. All right, states five zero fifty. I just DM'd you a link if you ain't find it yet. Yo, this nigga think you Tariq for power? No fucking way, my nigga. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh yeah, that's bro. That's bro. <laughs> that's bro. <laughs> I'm on Thirtieth Street and I don't know. We're in Northlake, Thirtieth Street. And, um, Broadway? Broadway, Broadway, yeah, 43 Broadway. What's going on? Bro, Zesty. We have someone who shot. He has a DSW. He shot? He's not moving. Yes, he's not moving. He's shot. All right, let me get him in one moment. Man, I found out till my knees when the law came. I'm not sure I can't stop. But he stopped me. I'm moving. And he's the only one that's injured there? He's the only one that shot. Yes, please, please. Okay. We have help on the way to you. Hold on. So now you recognize that call. Yeah. And obviously that's you uh, uh, seeking help for Sebastian. Is that right? Yes. All right. Now, when you... Uh, after you made that phone call, um, at towards the end of the call, we can hear you say, "Yes, please." Who, or do you recall who you're referring to? Who you're talking to at that point? Police officer. So at that point, law enforcement started to arrive where you guys were. Yes. Okay. Do you know? That's prosecutor, at this by the point, way. Uh, at the point yeah. where you're on Broadway and law enforcement starts to arrive, do you know where Tyler is? No. When law enforcement arrived at the scene, what did they do with you guys? Like, did they separate you and Chris? Yes. What, what happened? A through G. Uh, 
uh, the Cadillac. All right, I guess that was the car, right? Let me look it up again. Travis Rudolph. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to this boy, man. He did what he needed to do, nigga. He got a dead nigga on his chain. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, he got... Dead ass nigga. <laughs> nigga, they put that nigga in a flower pot. He put that nigga on a wing chain. Nah, I ain't gonna <laughs> hold you. Listen. Yo. 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 You know what really happened? That chick probably thought that this NFL player was on some John Moran shit. Just show it, not use it. This nigga was down to use it. <laughs> <laughs> he was down. To, nah, he used it. Yo. Boom, I, I, boom, I can't boom, believe y'all be quiet John Morant, boom, man. Boom, he consulted, boom. man. He really about it. Man, this nigga, he ain't show it once. but he use it once? <laughs> Yay. They, his girlfriend... Who was married to another nigga thought he was on that Jama rant. Just, just waving in the air to a young boy song. <laughs> this nigga was creating his own beat, nigga. He, that shit was probably sounding like a Jersey Club beat. Holy. Come on, man. Yo, what's hey, the problem? You see, them, you see them run out the crib with the AR? Oh, where that video at? You ain't never seen him run out the crib. Oh, I got to see on that. that. On that Twitter video I sent you, it's the first video. He run out the crib and Rudolph, slipped with the AR. Wait, Travis Rudolph ring camera. Shout out to the ring. You can do that too. You can do that too. Yo, listen, listen, yo, yo. They showed up, thought there was gonna be one thing. <laughs> they showed up thinking it was gonna be one way. <laughs> hey, trust me, that boy Rudolph. I guarantee he probably had a gun behind a door in a closet, always loaded. For four pussy niggas to pull up on him. He should have just put... And by the way, chat, y'all know me. Y'all already know the story. Niggas try to try to, try to to run up in my crib. So I got no... When I'm telling you it should be four body bags, really five. Anytime you show up to a nigga house, the only place meant for you is hell. The only... Jail not even good enough for you. The only place is wrapped tightly in a body bag. You pull up to a man's house, you deserve hell. To die. That's what jumping mm. his brother. I don't got her own people. Nigga, too. That's crazy. Bro, the the moment you hard. knock, I wish that nigga had a 12 gauge shoot straight through the door. How that nigga have his stomach open? Don't show up to no motherfucking nigga's house. So he, Rudolph he, shooting he ran 39 down rounds as they fled following a fight. Let me tell you, man, this is what's happening these days. Everybody think they're the only niggas with guns. Everybody got guns. Everybody think they're the only niggas with guns. So everybody's running around like there's Rambo and Samson, like niggas thinking they're like the Iron Man or Hulk. <laughs> yeah, you might, you gonna catch a nigga maybe in traffic lacking. Yeah, you might catch him when he's just pumping his gas lacking. You pull up to his crib. Man, I don't even care if that nigga even had a little switchy in there, man. I know that I know they gave him some years of, with the ATF, but nigga, just start dumping, nigga. You seen the gun they had, bro? Nigga, he should have dumped through the door. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you why I respect him too. He was on that walk him down time. Yeah, but no, act, he, didn't he know. started firing he didn't know. and he ran him down. Yeah, but act, he didn't know Showing was jurors out there. this surveillance out there. video of bullets flying from Rudolph's semi automatic rifle as he yeah. chased them down the street. Murder begins. When self That's your bitch ass up, man. Oh, Hell nah. Murder. Listen, listen. Self defense began once the bitch ass niggas went on his property and knocked on his door. He dumping that shit. <laughs> One of those men, the girlfriend's brother, testifying. He One thing I like about America, for you to be the case, and obviously, like, I, I think he's going to beat this still. But for you to never get arrested or nothing like that, you got to damn near die. The police will be like, okay, so you let the person just rob you and he pistol whipped you and he shot you four times and yeah, you are your last breath and we barely survive you and you don't have a lung no more? Okay, no charges for you. Why the fuck you gotta take that long? They came here with bad intent. They started it. He dumped 55 bullets through the door. They're dead. Fuck them. He was throwing punches at Rudolph during the fist fight, but insisting no one pulled a gun and all four ran and got into their... Look, oh, this is where she hits him. So this is yeah. Rudolph. 
she hits him and all four ran and got into their that this is the typical girl i'm mad let me hit you shit that she'll never remember her throwing that punch she only remembers when you push her off you she says you hit her <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga. No one pulled a gun and all four. <laughs> yeah. Like, she don't remember this part. Nah, nah this part. Amnesia. Amne uh, I ain't hit that nigga. You know what she remembers? When she's now like, because she's trying to punch you in the face. That's the thing with girls. She got nails, them acrylic waist woman nails that's trying to scratch up your beautiful face. The moment you try to just get her off you, you hit me. Bitch, what the fuck? Bitch, you were punch. <laughs> Bitch, you hit me like Javante Davis. She, she had no recollection. Four ran and got into Look. their car. Look. But Rudolph's attorney Look. insisting Rudolph was acting in self-defense. Isn't that a fact that you guys immediately attacked him, never giving him a chance to do anything? This sucker should have been breathing through a tube. No. Rudolph's attorneys say he never began shooting until two of the men in the car pointed guns. I'll donate some money to his legal defense. That's my boy. Facts. Facts. Set the go for me up. I'm telling you, man. Well, I I I, I want to see when he comes out. This shit dumping. I don't know if it was on this video, but it's on the Twitter video. But it's probably on this one. Nah, find me the Twitter video, nigga. Because I, I sent it. It's you remember it's, the video, the first video I sent you. It's the first, the beginning of the thread. But we gotta remember, you was telling him to shoot through the door. You gotta remember, his brother's outside getting jumped while he's he ran back in the house to get his gun. His brother's gonna jump, so he can't just shoot the gun. He might hit his brother type shit. Yeah, they charging this nigga. This nigga sound like a hero. Okay, it, it, it's at the beginning of the Twitter thread, you said? Yeah, it's the, the first video of the thread that I sent you. The the Twitter thread, though, right? Yeah, the Twitter thread, yeah. Okay. So okay, just go yeah, scroll yeah, all the yeah, way yeah. to the top. Is that one. Chat, I'm a little biased. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little biased. Is you, though? Nah, man, hey, hey, come on, man. You can't just come on a, a person's property like that, man. Nigga, 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 nigga. I, I saw palm trees, but it was at. No, this is Florida. Florida. This is why I'm so surprised he's even charged. But I guess, no. So I'm going to try to play the video he chases a bit. So, like, I think if he shot them dead right there, like, bro, he could have just pissed on them and, like, they're done. But. He, he comes out, he kind of stumbles, he shoots, and then he continues to chase. They're running. They're like skedaddling, nigga. Hold on, let me see if I can find this shit. It's in that video, though. And he jumping his brother, so you got to think of it like that. Like he's, It's still kind of self-defense because his brother's getting his ass. Wait, wait, all right, so I got to go to the Twitter thread, right? Yeah, it's literally it's literally right there. You oh, technically that is because that's how uh, Lil Tim got off on the Vaughn shit. It's at 116. No, 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 but, but Lil Tim never chased. Like, like that place, nobody, before Little Tim shot, nobody was running. You know what I mean? Like, basically, once you start shooting, these niggas start running back to the car. And, and while they were running back to the car, he was still dumping at them, bro. As he should. I agree. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. I think the jury's gonna let him go, bro. Just off the, the girl. I phone, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's so dumb. I, I, I don't. Well, first of all, here's the thing, though. It's not like. Anybody on her side is facing charges, even though I guess her brother probably is looking at her like, yo, you got to help us out because like our friend's mama is mad that our friend came with me to slide for you. Like we all, we only did this for you. Okay. So it's the first video you said? Yes. At 111. Go to 111 in the video. You'll okay. See. Okay. Here we go, Chad. And he should look at his sister like, damn, I got a remedial sister. Wait, wait. Escalated so quickly. Oh, here we go. For the first time, Travis Rudolph talks about the night he says four men showed up at his front door. I ain't gonna lie, that knock, them five knocks should been a, should been followed by five shots, nigga. I just heard just a loud bang, as if like the police was at the door. In exclusive video, we can now see everything playing out on security cameras. Bro, hold on. A nigga got his hand inside the hoodie and a hoodie on. You don't know these Negroes. They're coming to your house at night. Bruv, what do you want this man to do? And the brother answered. He said, we Hold on. What would y'all think? For everybody in here, and I asked y'all in, in, in the Discord too. Somebody comes to your house. It's four niggas. Got hoodies on. A nigga got his hand in his shirt. And they knock it on your door. Like, like you know, that police knock is a little bit different knock. It's just like a little, it's yeah. harder. It's all that pause. What would you do? Would you just go out there? 
I think no, I'm calling the police to tell them that they about to have some bodies on the ground. No, I would answer the door and be hella polite with them. No, 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 I'm not, nah. no, no, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you just said the right thing. I'm gonna tell you what, yeah, I, I would probably call the cops. I would try not to open the door, right? Just because, like, I'm I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna think it is I'm thinking it's going one way. You get what I mean? Like, bro, it's four niggas, they're either gonna jump you, right? Or you never know, nigga. They, shit, they could shoot you. So I probably wouldn't open. But so I, maybe I would. I wouldn't just open the door. But, but to be honest, Jehovah's Witness? huh? What Witness? <laughs> We're hoodies, nigga. This all <laughs> happened within seconds. So brother- oh, okay, okay. Now this complicates it. Remember, he didn't open it. His brother opens it. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Ah, shit. So he can't dump through the window. He can't dump through the door. His brother out there getting jumped. Yeah, yeah. Now, if your brother getting jumped, I ain't gonna lie. You wild pussy for staying on, uh, staying on hold with the cops upstairs while your brother getting a beat and they want to give it to you. And at a certain point, okay, your brother opened the door and they're beating his ass. My nigga, you know they're gonna run in the house and come get you next, right? Like you got to do something. You, you have the right to protect your family and your home. So self defense, bro. It, by the way, if this if they had entered the house, this is no Over. case. There's yeah. some called the castle doctrine, um, and especially it works in in a place like Florida, which means if if you if somebody is in your house, um, and you deem it as a threat, um, um, you don't have you don't have to retreat at all. So basically, you could chase that nigga from room to room and kill him. <laughs> I'm serious. Like it's called a castle. Like, a nigga from room to room, like Scooby Doo. No, for real. <laughs> like, 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 basically, basically, the castle doctrine means your house is your castle. You have the right to defend your house. You get what I mean? So, yeah, because in most self defense laws, it says you're only to use lethal, uh, um, lethal force when you basically have no other choice or when you're in fear. But like, say somebody's in your house, like. Cool, maybe you could go hide in a closet, but it, 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 because of that doctrine, it says you don't have to be running from people in your own house. Now, it's not all states. Like, some states, you still, like, say in Jersey, like, the person still got to have some reasonable threat for you to kill them. Yeah, but what In Florida, though, invasion? if that nigga is in your house, you clap him. That's a free body. When, but wouldn't that be a home invasion anyway? What? If they running in your house and you don't know these niggas? Yeah, but lethal force is so different. So so what happens in Jersey, um, and, and a lot of like states like Jersey, Jersey has really tough gun laws. People people try to steal cars a lot. They don't do home invasions a lot. By the way, you know whose house just got broken into? I'm gonna show y'all soon. Um so in Jersey, what happens is the people try to steal cars. When they do try to steal cars, they won't brandish a gun. Once you brandish a gun, it's a whole different case. Like those guys who came to my crib, the reason, like people try to steal, I don't know if I ever told you, like people try to steal my my Lamborghini before. Like, mm-hmm. like, well, I think I told you, I don't ever t- told them. Like niggas like went in the Lamborghini, you know what I mean? But when I, and I saw, I saw them, funny enough, I saw them a week later because the, it's young kids. They're like 16, 17. Most of them are underage. I'm going to tell you what they do. It's older dudes that get young kids, which means they get juveniles. They're not going to get anybody over 18. They get juveniles to basically, and they don't really run into houses, right? They try to avoid confrontation. They'll check the car. If the car is open, some of the rich people in neighborhoods like where I live at will leave the keys inside. They'll just jump in a car and go. Now, who knows if they have guns on them, but... They know everybody got cameras. That's why they, you know, well, COVID helps. Everybody got masks on and hoodies. What they do is they never show the gun. Here's how the law works in Jersey. If they see a gun, it's a whole different situation. Like them niggas, that's why they also knew them niggas wasn't car thieves. Them niggas had a big ass AK when they were coming to my crib. If you show the gun, it's a whole different case. Them niggas is facing like 25 years. When you, if there's no gun, right, and you just steal a car, or, or by the way, it's what they could prove. It's a, they let they let the kids out the same day, same day. That's why there's so much car thefts in Jersey. 
So they even if they steal a car and they get caught, they still get out the same day. They're juveniles. Yep. It wasn't a it, they call it it's a non-violent incident and because of there's what's called no, no um no cash uh, there's there's no cash bail in Jersey, which means that unless you commit certain high level felonies which which all involve a gun. So no gun, you don't have to pay to get bail. So once they lock you up, you get out immediately. So that's why they get kids to do it, and the kids just try to steal cars. Generally, they're not trying to hurt nobody. Like I, I see it on, on, on like our feed, like for the neighborhoods and shit. Like they try to rob somebody last night, or or like try to get their cars, you know. But they're not trying to confront people. They're not trying to really like shoot nobody, right? Which I'm not saying it makes it better or whatever. Um, but the the reason why they move like that is that. If they do get caught by the cops, they get out the same day with a summons. So it, that's that's the thing about when you live in certain states. In Florida, a nigga try to steal your car, you on your property. He got his hand in his shirt. You shoot his fucking brains off. In Jersey, you didn't see a gun. You can't shoot him. You know what I mean? Crazy. Now, if you see a gun, that's different. If you see a gun, you can kill him. But that's why the people who are doing car thefts here, they move a little bit different. So they, they, they might have their hand in their shirt, but they'll never show. If they do have a gun, they'll never show it. Why? In case they get caught. Well, unless they get caught with the gun. In case they get caught, and usually they, they go on a chase with the cops. They, they're going to throw the gun somewhere. In case they get caught, they get let out the same fucking day. But once you get violent, at least with Jersey... Anything with a weapon is automatic 20 years. You're facing automatic at least 20 years. PBL. So if you, like, play this. If, if, if you strong arm robbery somebody, like, so you see Boom at the corner, you be like, yo, Boom, yo, give me a wallet, nigga. No. Now, if your, hand is, if your hand is in your shirt, if your hand is in your shirt, you could even be making a gun finger. It's in your shirt. And say they got you on camera. You're going to get out the same, well, as a teen, you'll get out the same day. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a team. Florida is, I'm not going to lie. Florida is like that too, um, Mac. I don't know if you know, but Florida is like that too. Now, if if you show the gun, you're not getting out here. You know what I mean? So, in, in, in at least in Jersey, like, they're super strict on guns. That's why even them niggas who, who try to, them niggas going to get fried. And I'll be in court pointing at them yeah. like this. Because hey, my, my, my little cousin just got a gun charge for having, he wasn't even his gun. Somebody in the car had one in Jersey. But ain't nobody went on up to it, and now he had to like sit in jail for like over he, a week. Was he a juvenile? No, nah, no, nah, he like in college, like he on college break type yeah, shit. Yeah, like, when you a juvenile, you don't, you don't, unless you get charged as an adult, if it's if it's not a murder or something like that, a PBL is what it's called. You just do two, at max twenty one days, and you got to get let out. They can't let you in jail more than twenty one days. Yes, yeah, so, so, yeah. so, so, so and by, by the way, I guess I guess like I'm bringing this up to say. Having a weapon in any crime makes it like crazy worse. By the way, the dudes that was in the car, even though the 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 ex girlfriend of the guy was saying, "Oh, my brother didn't come with a gun," they found two guns. Let, let me see if I could find it. To the door, so I was, I'm, I'm just, worried about his safety as well. Okay, so this is the brother. Yeah, this brother bold as hell. I'm not coming out here talking about who is it. You see four niggas in hoodies. Let me tell you this, man. I, well, well, I guess you don't got money like this. If I see a Negro outside my house right now, nigga, the SWAT team gonna surround the block, nigga, and I'ma just stay trained, nigga. I'm, nigga, if DoorDash pull up to my crib and it's a black man, nigga, drop the food and you have thirty seconds to evacuate the property, nigga. Straight up, nigga. I'm not playing no games with you, nigga. Straight up, <laughs> like I'm telling you, like nigga, you don't knock on my door talking about oh oh wait hold on they didn't have no salt Mitch get the fuck out of here <laughs> I ain't gonna lie I'm paranoid not even paranoid but it's just you, like you be mad when you don't got your sauce though you be mad though you said what yeah you be mad when you don't got your sauce though yeah right, nigga you get the wrong type of sauce <laughs> like yo I'm good I'm good nigga I'm good <laughs> all right hold on all right first of all hold on let me ask you a question and I, I know I'm like pausing the minute time all right four niggas two in hoodies. They look a little sketch. Are you opening the door? The back door? No, nigga. Man, they're knocking gotta, on the front door. Gotta, I'm open the I'm open the door, but I'm gonna have a little know I got it on me. Pause. I ain't gonna lie, man. 
she, this made me look at Florida a little bit way because I thought you could have shoot these niggas through the peephole, bro. Hey, hey, I'm going to be on my, like, what would Charleston White do? <laughs> well, by the way, thanks God to the ring camera, because if it wasn't a ring camera, they would have, it was going to be like three pe or four people's story against one. Okay, so he opens the door. Let's see what happens. Travis up. Oh, they said where Travis at. All right, Chad, let me ask you a question. Somebody pull up to your house, and they ask you where your little brother is at. What's up? Let me see what, it, what all these gangsters in here is talking about. I'm like, this the big brother, bro. Chat, they pull up to your house, it's four niggas. And they say, yo, where Travis at? <laughs> what's, what's, see, see, now y'all, y'all creating, other, you didn't bring a gun outside. Like, remember, you just, you went outside, you locked the door, you said, what's up, what's, what's up with y'all? You say, yo, where Travis is at? What are y'all gonna do? Nah, nah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go get him. <laughs> and then come back with an AR-15 in my hand. Like, what's the word? <laughs> Yo, you gonna say, like, oh, I'm Travis, gonna get it. Yeah, this Travis yeah. right here. This is Travis right here, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, hold on. Talk to him? Right, hold on. Wait, wait, smart wait. move, though. That's wait, a smart move. Wait, let me see what happened when he, when he says, when they say, uh, uh, where Travis at? According to court records, what? Rudolph and his then girlfriend, Dominique Jones, got into a fight earlier that night. I'm open this door, bro, because it got me. Dominique, stop. Who are you calling a trap? Afterwards, she yo don't girls start getting violent for the worst reasons, bro? Who's you calling a bitch? <laughs> like, come on! <laughs> oh my God! I bet, bet, bet. Texted her brother Keyshawn Jones. Evidence shows they both made threats towards Rudolph. As soon as I came outside, literally, Tyler like he sucker punched me to my left eye. It was Tyler and Sebastian. It was like kind of trying to corner me in, and um, Tyler he had pulled out his firearm. And during that time, Tyler pulled out his firearm. Sebastian was like, you messed with the wrong girl. You're going to die tonight. And then that's when I went back inside and grabbed my firearm. The fight spilling out into the street. Oh, wait, is this coming? Nah, this is him stumbling out with the. <laughs> this is AR, ain't it? The fight spilling out into the street. Oh, shit. The video shows Rudolph then running off his property with an AR-15. I had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm Damn saying? Damn right, my nigga. And my family. My brother was on the ground getting jumped by two of those guys getting kicked. So that's the reason why I went down the street. While they're all in their car, I see two firearms pointing at me and my brother. And I, like, I couldn't believe it. It's just, it's just a, a split decision where I just felt like it's, it's either... Me or, or and my brother or these guys that's, you know what I'm saying, going to get hurt. Rudolph firing 39 rounds, the four men speeding off. I know it's people at home are going to question, everything. okay, he, he has an AR-15 and he fired. That's a real nigga, man. Bro, he dolphin dive. He a real Miami <laughs> dolphin, bro. <laughs> Look at the gun they had, though. Oh, he really, oh, he walked down the whip? Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. The video Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. The only, my only, like, crit critique of him is that he a wide receiver. Bruh, you coming out of your house and running a post route with the gun, you can't slip. <laughs> you can't slip on the post route, gang. He ran a slip. Yo, no, nah, that's a post route. That's a post route. You can't slip on the post route. You know Aaron Rodgers is going to get it over the defense, so you, you can't slip. Nah, that's why he was on the practice squad. Yeah, that's why he was, that's why he was on the practice uh, squad. <laughs> Nah, the nigga ran a post route, nigga. He should have been posted up with the fucking chopper. Aiming by. He should have been on the top of this car, nigga. Play action, bro. That was a play action audible type. Like, when shot he us. Slipped, he to, when he slipped, he had to switch it up, bro. He had to audible that motherfucker. God nigga, damn. Hey, all, all I'm saying is, hey, if it was Aaron Hernandez, he wouldn't have missed. <laughs> Now, what well, Aaron Hernandez would have never came out without the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't think niggas would have pulled up to Aaron Hernandez's crib. Yeah, they would have did that. They would have known. They would have heard. All right, hold on. Curb, All, right, All right, so let me get everybody's opinion. I'm thinking. Again, I think there's some gray area where that's why they they indicted him and that's why he's in trial. But I still think he's gonna beat the case. I think they're gonna see enough reason why. You know, by the way, chat him leaving here. And chasing, they're saying that he's not in danger no more. Now his brother is though. That's that's another thing. So self defense says 
it's you could um you could use self defense to defend you or others, right? So basically, if you're with your girl and your girl's life is in danger, like that's why I think Little Tim is about to be his case, because Little Tim could use self defense even though he hopped out the car and just shoot. You know what I mean? He could say, "I felt I." 100% he's going to say this. I seen guns coming from an entourage over there, and I heard Quando Rondo getting beat up, and I hopped out the car, and I shot. We'll see how that go. So I said, yo, dude, a bus driver in Charlotte? What the fuck is a bus driver in Charlotte? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the um, dude pulled out a gun on the bus driver. And the bus driver busted out on him, shot him and shit. And um, the bus driver got a gun. I'm gonna see the video. I'm gonna see the video. Shit out, him, bro. Wait, the yeah, bus. I'm seeing the video. The bus driver got a gun. Yeah. In Charlotte. Shot the sh oh, yeah, bro. shot the shit bro. out of that nigga. Your facts are good, nigga. Well, that public transit get crazy, boy. Yeah. Damn. But yo, real question is, yo, imagine having to do this for your girlfriend that got a husband. Yo, that's crazy. Wait, wait. Yeah, I think. All right, hold on. Everybody, just give you a pay. Does he beat this this case or not? I say beats it. I don't think he gonna beat it because he he stood in the rain with the strap. Like if he ain't run, chase him down with the strap, yeah, he but probably his brother, no. Him. His brother's getting jumped when he's running out there to them. He's running to his brother. He's not just running to them. No, but wait, wait. No, but when he down the street, is his brother. He, he's not down the street. That's in front of his house. Now nah, there's a part where he walking down the street, man. Yeah, but they he said he said they driving off with the gun out in the window. So well, they dri driving off with his brother, no? No, but he's saying he's saying they driving off holding the gun out the window, so they could have dumped that nigga and just, just sped off type shit. Well, hey, hey, I posted the um news article with the video with the bus driver in Charlotte in main chat. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, um, yo, you ever seen um Training Day when, when they, after they robbed that woman? And then the niggas down the block is just shooting at the car with with with, uh, with Alonzo and the white dude when they driving away. I mm -hmm. think that's what type of time this nigga was on. <laughs> he said, "I can tell you, I don't have a license. You can't shoot anyone in the back." Shit, tell that to George Zimmerman, bro. Yeah. Wait, did George Zimmerman shoot? Filling out. Did he shoot Trayvon in the back? 